When you look at art as much as I do, from hobbyists and professionals alike, you tend to notice similarities in subject matter. Art can be used to communicate something on a level higher than written language, and of course, some of these art tropes can be used the same way too many times or cheaply done, like cliches in movies. But at the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is the execution. What I want to do is not simply tell you things I think are overused, but perhaps expand and explore these tropes in a way that could make them more interesting. Or just make fun of them. Probably one of the most common and simple tropes is when an artist draws the front view of an eye, and there's like a single tear or something falling from it. I know you've seen some art that looks like this. It's everywhere. When someone is just starting to approach emotionally charged work, doing something like this is just inevitable, but many people do stuff in the same vein as this even later on in their gallery. I have some suggestions to improve this trope. You can first try sketching the eye from different angles. Drawing something in a perfect front view is fairly bland, and you can get a more three-dimensional look with other angles. It can also be a good way to practice getting the form of the eye right, if you want to just do studies. One major problem I have with this trope is how non-specific it is. A single tear only hammers in a general, distant emotion of sadness. There isn't much else you can infer from it, and it isn't very interesting. There is a series of drawings where an artist tried to express all kinds of differing, relatively specific emotions just through eyes. This is just one example of a number of concepts you can explore, even if it's just kind of weird. Just take this concept and put your own little spin on it. Speaking of eyes, or rather the lack of eyes, another common trope is when someone puts a sensor bar or downright scribbles out the eyes to signify they are... Um, what is this supposed to signify? Time to do some research. Well, its practical purpose seems to be to hide that area of the face, because without the eyes, it can be harder to identify someone. Well, my interpretation is that the scribbled out or censored eyes make someone look detached from society and or reality. It gives off this feeling of emotional numbness and quiet stirrings of unhappy thoughts. Or, you know, the artist just didn't want to draw the eyes. With this trope, it's more about a lack of creativity. Many times, the sensor bar is just kind of slapped on there. There isn't an effort to create some kind of atmosphere. Never underestimate the power of a good background. Put in some dramatic lighting, some far-off shapes that suggest objects, but you can't really tell what they are. If you want to convey a feeling, try to make it as immersive as you can. Hell, I like this art piece with this trope just for the Windows error sign. It's a cool visual, and it's different. If you haven't noticed yet, a lot of these are pretty emotionally centered, because, well, art is inherently emotional. But this next one, oh boy. There's always a drawing that says something like, I'm okay, but I'm actually not okay. This kind of trope is everywhere. It's turned into the kind of thing that Reddit makes fun of, so you know it's doomed. It's usually used in emotionally charged art and things of that nature. But I just want to make sure of something. I'm not going to go up to someone making vent art and say, Oh, that's overused and unoriginal. Well, I'm not gonna do that to anyone's art that has tropes like these unless they want me to. I'm just gonna stay in my own little corner and make videos discussing them. To some of you, that may seem obvious, but for some reason, that's what a lot of people think I'm gonna do. I just wanna make sure I'm clear about things. Again, I think this trope is often too general. I want to get into specifics. I would like to see the art answer multiple questions or bring up new ones. Why does one feel the need to hide their true emotions? Do they feel the need to hide them because of societal backlash or misunderstandings? On what level are you not okay? Is it mental illness, depression, stress, anxiety? I'm not saying it has to be extremely specific. It could incorporate a wide range of thoughts, but I would like to see more information presented to us other than okay, broken. Wow, this is so deep. Art is a form of communication that could arguably transcend the written language, and it's neat when artists can communicate complex ideas. For example, this art I can appreciate for its mock Banksy stencil and spray paint aesthetic. It's an ironic contrast between two polar opposite states of mind combined to form a sinister and unnerving image. The drugs and alcohol may suggest the antidotes to sadness provided by society, but these prove to be fruitless. This may be the character's last attempt to make happy. It's a simple concept, but at least there is a more intriguing idea being shown. 
You could argue I'm reading into it too much, but at least there's something to read into. None of these things I would say are bad. They could just be developed more or made clearer from a narrative standpoint. A lot of this art uses symbols, which can be used in an effective way, or clever wordplay. And it's kind of a disappointment, because with drawing, you can literally draw anything. But some people just make the drawn equivalent of this. Another thing, why does everyone seem to be shielding their emotions? You weird-ass turtles. In my experience, no one even cares. I can just walk up to my parents and tell them to their face, I want to kill myself. And they'll just say, that's great, son. Another trope is chromatic aberration. Why? Why do they do this? Why does God remain silent in a world of so much suffering? Speaking of suffering, there seems to be this weird obsession with gore. There's so much art where a character is like smiling and they have their guts hanging out. They aren't even concerned, they're just standing there like you caught them with their fly down. I can understand this as a shocking visual, but most of the time it doesn't get deeper than that. Is this another case of this broken thing? Where it's just a contrast of two vastly different states of being and nothing else? Or is it something different? Is this just artists making their OCs suffer for fun, like they brag about so often for some reason? Is God just an edgy teenager that someone accidentally gave a Make Your Own Universe kit? Are we just his OCs? His playthings? Uh, I think that's enough existential horror for today. My name is Solar Sands, and goodbye.